If you're interested in what I look like in real life and want to learn more about me, then follow my Instagram page at Joe the Insomniac. Hello everyone. I'm very unwell at the minute, so sorry I've not been able to upload much this week. I'm on the upload and should be back to normal in the following days. Let me know what kind of stories you'd like to see me do. Hope you'll enjoy this video. Let's begin. This is actually my stepmom slash her best friend story. Now my stepmom, we'll call her Mansi, grew up as kind of a privileged teen in the 70s. Her mum and her family had moved over here, the States, from England when she's about nine. She went to a pretty nice high school in a really nice town. There, she made friends with a girl, Lily, who didn't exactly run with Nancy's type of crowd. They hit it off, and Lily would take Nancy out to do her type of stuff. Hiking, fishing and sailing. Anyway, because of Lily's influence, the two of them would go and do stuff like that a good amount. One Sunday, they decide to hike in some hills about an hour away. Mansi then puts on what, I'm sure were her extremely expensive hiking shoes, and the two of them drove off to the hiking trails. Lily parked in the big clearing with the makeshift parking spots, but there's no other cars there. This was only important in hindsight. They started hiking up the hill, off the path because Lily fancied herself as a badass. This hiking was nothing extraordinary. Anyway, they reach the top of the hill and my stepmom is done. The polished, pampered side of her was coming out and she groaned until Lily said okay, they're gonna rest, then walk but slower. They had started down the hill for maybe only 10 minutes when Mansi started moaning again. Lily conceded to walking down the side of the road instead of the rough hiking trail. Prior picked. So there they are, probably looking like a couple of tools geared up for some hiking and walking down a crappy road. And after not even five minutes, a truck pulled up next to them. It's red and rusty and just generally looks like a clunker. The guy rolled down the window, and the girls look in through the passenger side window. He had a big beard, baseball cap pulled down, long brown hair. He greeted them, even smiling through his beard, asking if they needed a ride. Mansi describes him as charming, even cute. Lily still says the moment he greeted them, chills went off her spine. But despite her better judgement, my stepmom convinces her to get in the truck, saying it's only going to be a 10 minute drive, tops. The two girls now open the passenger side door to the old rusty thing, the guy directing them to the back seat. They settle in, and the truck goes forward. Lily always says this is a point when it hit her that they made a big mistake. The back seat was clean enough, but... There's rope on the floor, and four boxes of sarum wrap hanging out from under the passenger seat. It seems kind of creepy but weird. Very out of place. But Lily didn't want to freak out my stepmom, keeping quiet. After ten minutes, the woods don't look any clearer. They hadn't seen another car the whole time. Lily asking how long he thought it would be. He said he's going to take a different route down the hill, and had to stop somewhere first. That was it. Now the girls were about 18 at the time, and Lily didn't want to press the issue. She was scared. Now she could remember his hair, or was she sitting behind him? It was very tangled and dirty. She noticed crusted mud on his collar. Trying to find something identifiable about him. Getting scared the more she picks up on details. He was youngish, strong looking, 
had a one on both of them, so they didn't ask any more questions, and he didn't offer any information and they drove on. Several minutes after that, they reach a tiny shack slash log cabin looking place right in a clearing. There was an old stump where someone had been cutting wood down with a huge axe and with a log. Lily's on red alert now. The guy turned off the truck and slipped out saying, I'll be right back. Don't get out. And he goes to the house. Lily tried to speak to my stepmom about how incredibly uncomfortable she is, but she mostly dismisses it. Lily begins laughing, increasingly freaked out, finally putting her foot down, demanding Mency exits the truck with her. So when they get out and walk around the front of the vehicle, they're now found to be about 50 yards away from the house. The guy would have left two young girls in the truck alone while going into his house. So they wander around, looking at it hesitantly. If the guy is really decent, he has just given us a ride, then it would be super rude for us to run off, right? My stepmom had this strict upbringing when it comes to manners and public persona, and she saw it as an issue of that nature, so she actually started to head back to the truck opening the front door to climb in the driver's seat. Lily's mad now though, and yells at her. Oh, the driver's side door. Just under it, by the seat, you can see a big hatchet. It's covered in red and brown stains, I like the floor. Lily's uncomfortable and starts losing it. My stepmom starts getting hysterical. They decide to leave. They're gonna book it off to the side of the property, into the trees. They bumped around in the trees for a little while until Lily was fairly confident they're on their way back down the hill. My stepmom cried all the way down, Lily feeling bad about it, but completely freaked out. When they finally got back down to the bottom and saw the old wooden fence that surrounded the original parking area, they were relieved. As they got closer, they saw it, the truck, parked on the other side of the gravelly makeshift lot, just sitting there facing the other way innocently. They couldn't see if anyone's in it, and of course, Mancy wanted to run for the car, but Lily's hesitant. She managed to calm down my stepmom, saying she wanted to wait before running out into the open to see what's out there. Remember, it's the seven years no cell phones. There was no ranger station around or any park rangers. The parking lot was big and empty. Who knows what would have happened if they decided to stroll across it. Thankfully, Lily convinces my stepmom to chill and the two of them hunker down against a big tree hidden by bushes and the other trees and waited it out for what seemed to be a couple of hours when dark starts to fall. All the animals start coming out and making sounds, and my stepmom predictably started getting antsy and began bothering Lily, who was tired, and moves away, giving in. She was just planning their dash to the car when they hear a loud bang sound across the twilight lit lot. They watch as one of the back doors to the car swings open, and a bearded guy jumps out. He got out, shut the door looking around for a few moments, then getting back in his truck. The truck lumbers past their car and out of sight. They can tell he's about to do a loop and come back. They wait until he's around a corner, then sprint into their cars, peeling out as fast as they can. They never went on expeditions like this again, but also never reported it to the authorities.